When Roosevelt died, I nearly died. I thought the world had collapsed and fell at my feet. But I just remember the sadness and this awful feeling of losing the President of the United States. I, I can still see myself on the school ground crying because it was so sad and it was such a shock. And the mood of the country was one of not only sadness at the loss of this great leader, but concern about what the future held now without him. We didn't know what the world was going to come to without Roosevelt as president. You felt almost if, as if you'd lost a member of the family because we had been pulling together, hoping together for success, for victory in the war. To lose our leader was frightening. And I remember the, the funeral, the pictures, you know, in Life magazine, the pictures of that uh, sergeant who played coming home and the tears just rolling down his cheeks. The things he had done for this country had created a great bond between the people and President Roosevelt. And that equipped him to lead us through the trials and tribulations of the war because we trusted him. He was always kind and looked out for people. It was hard to describe, but I thought he hung the moon. My father would make us listen to Hitler speeches, and we'd hear, you know, wir wollen kein Freiheit, Deutschland, and then the roar of uh, the faithful Nazis. And then on the other hand, there were Roosevelt's fireside talks, always beginning with the words, my friends, and this wonderful warm voice coming over the airways. I thought he was an excellent war leader. He knew what he wanted to do, and he would do it. We never thought we was going to lose anything. Always felt confident. We always knew that we could do the job. We always had the materials and things that we needed to do the job. When you see a movie and see the newsreels, there we had our president right there with the other two major powers. And so that certainly gave me a feeling of comfort. Uh, I was certainly in the Pacific, and I used all the comfort I could get. FDR was a rather shrewd politician, and he made, like every politician, he has to, had to make compromises. My neighborhood thought that President Roosevelt could do no wrong, and that what was happening with the war, the things that he was asking us to do, was the right thing to be doing. And it was for our good that it was happening. The alliance between FDR and Churchill was very impressive. They really work together, and I think um, they have to be thought of together, not just one person. It was a marvelous teamwork, and that impressed me a great deal. President Roosevelt's spirit was something that gave us a constant feeling of hope and belief that we had a man there who was our friend. And I think his greatest legacy was the GI Bill. It helped so many people. The GI Bill democratized the world of learning. It brought the average person, the poor person, the simple person onto the main uh, academic scene. I took advantage of the GI Bill, went to college, came out as an accountant, helped me raise a family, buy several homes. My first house it was GI Mortgage, so I fared very well by the GI Bill. Roosevelt left in legacy I think, of fairness in government. He was a man who didn't have to do what he did. He could have lived a life of luxury and ease, but he didn't. I think we were all aware of that. It made him so special. God knows if the New Deal had not taken place, America would have been on the same course in which many European countries were in the 1930s. It was an enormous effort of um, social cementing. He, in a way, saved America from disaster. He became a president of the people. His optimism, his feeling that our greatest days were still ahead of us and that we could overcome depression, we could overcome wars, just that he had overcome polio. And I think his greatest legacy was giving us the belief again in the greatness of our country.
he maintained a, a kind of global vision, a vision of the United States as a country closely tied to other countries. If we'd had a, a different, an isolationist president, then the fascism would have prevailed all over the world. Franklin Delano Roosevelt kept the country together. He was comforting. He was reassuring. He was never maudlin. He was positive. And I think those of us who grew up in that era, all other presidents have had to kind of live up to that ability. Franklin Delano Roosevelt was a leader among leaders. <laughs>